Now to an iTeam exclusive as we head into summer, taking a cruise might be in your vacation plans, but did you know that 10 cruise ships leaving from ports here in Florida had the norovirus this last year and most still passed their ship inspections? In a special Dirty Dining iTeam investigation, we discovered you cannot expect a cruise ship sanitation record to give you the full picture of what's happened on board. Somos. Um, how long have you been cruising? Oh, uh, we've been cruising since 1998. Dr. Jeff Vasta enjoys taking a cruise with his family, boarding over 22 ships and only getting sick once. It was probably a situation where people aren't washing their hands, um, and we got an upper respiratory illness, um, nausea, vomiting, that kind of thing. His wife Julia says the norovirus made him more sick than she's seen him in years. So he was in the in the room for two days, quarantined vomiting, you know, with this norovirus. There was other people on board that were sick at the same time. They did the thing because it, it all happened kind of at the same time. In a special Dirty Dining I-Team investigation, we looked at the last year of inspections from the CDC Vessel Sanitation Program. Finding 15 ships had the norovirus, 10 of those ships sailed out of ports here in Florida, leaving from Tampa, Port Canaveral, Miami, and Fort Lauderdale. And the cruise lines contaminated with the norovirus? Oceania, Princess, Disney, Carnival, Royal Caribbean, Norwegian, and more. In March of this year, the norovirus hit the Coral Princess ship, with 157 passengers getting sick, along with 25 crew members. But just 10 days before the Coral Princess set sail, they scored 100% on their vessel sanitation inspection. And the Oceania's Riviera ship hit rough waters in the last year, with three different cruises all out of Miami, all carrying the norovirus. Two back-to-back -back in February and another in March, with hundreds on board falling ill. But the ship still received a 96% inspection score during that time. Why? Because according to the CDC, the norovirus does not necessarily have anything to do with the ship's sanitation practices. If they follow their plan that they're required to have to mitigate the outbreak, then they would not necessarily need to be mentioned on the report. Commander Amy Trefoletti is the chief of the CDC's vessel sanitation program. So one of the things that we require that ships have are outbreak prevention and response plans. And often the only way you'll know a specific ship was contaminated with the norovirus, finding a separate link on the CDC's website under outbreak updates, not under their inspection scores. I think the, the estimate is about 90% of GI illnesses on a cruise ship are caused by norovirus. Hillsborough County epidemiologist Mike Weiss says the norovirus can live on surfaces for not just hours, but days, making it extremely contagious. The virus is pretty good at living on surfaces, so it can live on a hard surface for up to a couple weeks. And touching potentially contaminated surfaces like a ship's elevator buttons, handrails, buffet utensils and doorknobs can spread the virus quickly. And it's not just person to person, it can even be in the food. Ready to eat produce, uh, fruits and vegetables. Um, we know that those can be contaminated with norovirus. And shellfish can also be contaminated as well with, with norovirus. Recovering from the norovirus can be life-threatening too. For the very young infants um, and the elderly, um, it can be pretty serious that could require hospitalization. As you've heard countless times, hand washing with soap and water is the best way to avoid getting sick. And we says don't rely on hand-based sanitizers. Hand sanitizers are not necessarily that effective uh, against norovirus. And despite contracting the norovirus in the past, Jeff says it's smooth sailing from here. But it didn't stop you from getting on another cruise? No, not at all. Yeah. So you're not worried about this one? Not at all, no. Now we reached out to Oceania Cruise Line. They did not want to comment, but did share the steps they took to combat the three norovirus outbreaks. And Negan Kamali, in charge of PR for Princess Cruise Line, sent me a statement which reads in part, quote, the ship implemented immediate and aggressive sanitation protocols developed in coordination with the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. The ship launched a comprehensive disinfection program on board during the turnaround on March 18th, 2017 in Port Everglades. To read Princess Cruise Line's full statement and see the steps taken by Oceania Cruise Line to protect their passengers, head to our website, abcactionnews.com slash dining.